is this wealth of information. And that's what everyone, you're not saying anything that nobody knows, it's what everything, everybody relies on, this thing, right? And so finding unique ways to um, become in the forefront of your customer's mind on that little device. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 414th episode of Potty Talk. And we have a great episode here. This is our third part of our four part series, Turning Pipe Dreams into Reality. Yes, so what are we talking today? Well, we're talking about, you know, in the last episode, we talked about. Um, really, the, the, the most important asset, mm-hmm. you know, is or you know, is your human asset. asset your, and we got specific your guys, mm-hmm. plumbers, right? right. Mm-hmm. Well, and this one is the is is a very important key asset as well. Mm-hmm. Okay, and it's you know your customers, but we need to be where your customers are. So we want to take a look at here, okay, at um, you know where the customers are at, and you know we are, this is a digital age, okay, you know. <laughs> Gone back, under the phone book. Yeah, back when we, yeah, there's no more phone books. Anyone know what a phone book is? We remember <laughs> what a phone book is, okay? Mm-hmm. You don't even see phone books anymore, okay? Yeah. Every, every, everything's online, okay? Mm-hmm. It's, so it's your online presence, right. okay? So as we're taking a look at, you know, turning our pipe dreams into reality, and again, you know, through this series where, you know, as we're recording this series, you know, it's the end of uh, 2023, and we'll get, we're looking forward into 2024. And so we're not, not talking about goal setting. We're just taking this time to kind of take a look at things, reevaluate where we, you know, what happened in the previous 12-month period mm-hmm. and looking forward to where we want to be at the end of the next 12-month period. So Correct. as we, we said, even if, you know, you know, you may not, if you didn't see this right when we released, you know, this Potty Talk episode, mm-hmm. you may get this, you know, October of 2025, mm-hmm. okay? It doesn't matter. This is, we're looking at a 12-month period here. Right. Okay, so we're, mm-hmm. we want to evaluate now, and this, what we're going to go over now here now, mm-hmm. is our online presence. Okay, okay. Okay, and that starts with number one. Mm-hmm. Like, can you follow me on this stuff, I'll sweetheart? Do, I'll do my okay, best. I know you're not very techy <laughs> or don't get this stuff you know, like I, I do. I'm glad I have you <laughs> guide me through. <laughs> yeah, when when the phone book things happen and all that, remember in the, <laughs> and we make the transition for six months there, I was in the fetal position trying well, to figure out. So well, I just did the phone book. <laughs> clarify, you, clarify. When the phone book, all the you know, phone books was just going away and online right. was a thing. And, and right. yeah, so... And Remember, we had to learn Google, really, really fast. What's a Google? What's right. a Google? What, 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 what website? Is, <laughs> okay. What? What is this? Right. Yeah. That so kind of thing. I had to learn really, really fast. And you did a great job. So I'm just being a little. All of a sudden, became sarcastic techie. here. Yes. Yes. Very, very techy. I'm um, not by choice, but by um, uh, necessity. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So let's look at our, our first point here: okay. our online presence. Okay. Okay. So number I'm one. You. Yes. Okay. Number one. Mm-hmm. Optimize. Your website, mm-hmm. sweetheart, you've yes. got to optimize. You've got to take a look at optimizing <laughs> our I've website. Heard. Yes. <laughs> right. Can we take over okay. from you? <laughs> well, let me say this because it sounds fancy. So okay. I can sound fancy. You know, SEO. Mm-hmm. I have no idea what that stands for. Yes, you do. But you've got you to know something about SEO. Search engine optimization. Yes, you right. do. So, yeah, optimizing your website well. It's not something you can do on your own. Sorry, it just isn't. It is not something you can do well on your own. You do need to have someone to do it. Um, so that that's the first thing. Um, and then also um, optimizing it means that so that customers are going to find you on Google, optimizing it for Google. And you need experts to, to help you figure that out. Right. So if they're searching for companies, you know, of course, you know, we're, we're showing up here. You know, this is the phone book today. You know, plumbers near me. You, you say that all the time. You really have to say, stop saying that because most most people, you know, guys that are in their 30s, they don't understand when it's the phone book for today. It yeah. doesn't make sense to them. It just because there's no concept for us. It's like. It, it totally is. <laughs> so I'm Am I getting old? Huh? My clothes are old, you know, old style. Yeah, My don't music's know old they style. Are, no. Well, because okay. well, okay. it's the best music, classic rock. Anyway. Yeah. Um, classic. I, that's why I call it classic, classic rock. rock. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, sorry, I don't mean to correct you, but um, yellow, the guys don't yeah. know what yellow pages. So, phones, it's just, that's the thing, which is just such an odd thing. I mean, think about it. You've got this device in your hand that literally could, you know, make a rocket take off. I mean, the computer system in it is you know, about the same size, whatever, if I knows that story. But it's it's this wealth of information. And that's what everyone, I mean, we're not saying anything that nobody knows. It's what everything, everybody relies on, this thing, right? And so finding unique ways to um, become in the forefront of your customer's mind on that little device. So for your website, it's like, 
and people may be searching for information for, you know, who repairs water heaters and that kind of stuff. Correct. So you, you want to have that kind of information, mm-hmm. you know, and it's, it's, and it's done in a, in a specific way. Yes. All right. So that you're, you're optimized. I'm using yes. air quotes here for those mm-hmm. that are listening mm-hmm. with a, to the podcast. It shows up to the top right. of the search results. But you're, 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 you're optimized. So yeah, you right. show up higher. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now the good news is it's so much easier today, mm-hmm. you know, to be found like that. Okay. Mm-hmm. But you, but you got to do it and yes. you're right. You can't do it on your own. No. Um, um, you cannot. So you've got to I mean, hire you, you can try. No, you can't. No, you can't. Just well, don't even give them that bone. No, you can't. You cannot do it on your own. And it'll be stupid to do it on your own. you got way, 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 way more other things to focus on um, than doing something that you don't know and try to learn it and all that. That's is a complete waste of time. And then you may say, um, well, it's just not in the budget for me to find somebody. Um, okay, so you're going to take your time, your valuable time. You know, what do you charge an hour, right? Um, you're going to take your valuable time to go and learn this skill that you're probably not even cut out for because it's just not in your gift mix so that you can save a few bucks. That's stupid. I said stupid last time. That's stupid. <laughs> you hire someone and you don't have to go out and get the biggest, fanciest, whatever, you know, that the big guys use and all that. You don't have to do that, but find some, uh, someone reputable. And we do have some recommendations out on our power tools page that you right. can find someone that can go out and, and, um, create for you a, an optimized, um, website that's that works for your area. Now, here's where I get a little, you know, I always, I'm all about keeping things simple, right? Mm-hmm. And so, like I said, you know, with the website, you want to keep it simple, but you got to have these kinds of, you know, your website's not about saying everything that you do, but you need to have stuff in there about everything you do. Mm-hmm. But that's not the message that you want to give to Mrs. Jones, your, your customer, as we call her. Correct. Okay. It's, that's, so we're not, not highlighting all that to say, we no. do this and I do this and I do that and I do this and we get this and we have you and all, you do one and all that. No, they just, they just want you to be out there today. Because so you know what, if you don't list something that, um, a plumbing issue that they have, and so you've got a big long list of stuff and they're going to go through that list and they're looking, look, 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 okay, well, my thing's not listed, so they must not do it. When more than likely you do, you just didn't put it on there. So just if you say you're a plumbing company, that leaves it nice and wide open. And so the customer knows I've got a plumbing issue. I'm going to find a plumbing company. So on the first page up top, you know, it's more important to getting right to the, the heart of the matter. Mm-hmm. Very clearly, you know, um, you know, attaboy plumbing, um, we'll take care of you today. Schedule today. Mm-hmm. That kind of, so the big thing is to get to the day. Correct. Let them know you can take care of them today. Yes. Today. Cause that's what they're looking for today. Yes. Okay. That can do that. And then there are other pages may deal with, you know, we do what this plumbing do, and all right. that because for SEO reasons. Correct. Okay. That helps with um, optimizing your website. But when they pop up, you have, you know, we have a really just a, a second, a mm-hmm. couple seconds at most to, to, you know, hook them. Correct. Okay. And the one thing that you absolutely must, without fail, have at the top of your website, at the very, 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 very top, is your phone number. And not small. I'm telling you, this week I yeah. searched for two or three different places I need to needed to call um, to make appointments local. And I literally had to go to click like three things into trying to find the phone number. I'm like, are you kidding me? So I don't know why websites have gotten away from putting the phone number prominent. But you guys, you got to have your phone number big. Don't make your customer search for it. What did I say? Did I say phone number? Don't yeah. make them search for their phone number. Do not do that. So it's got to be nice and big, um, especially on mobile, right? Because that's more than likely where they're searching. So it's, it's got to be found easily. Right. The other thing I want to recommend too, a uh, well, couple of things, pictures of your trucks to have on your website. Um, even if you don't, you're not fully branded yet, you're going through that, that process, still put a picture of your truck on there because that um, then more than likely your customer has seen your truck around town, more than likely. Um, you know, unless it's just really bad and it's not noticeable at all, noticeable at all, but have a picture on there because if they see that, then they're, oh yeah, okay. I've seen that guy. So it's like a trust thing all of a sudden, right? I've seen that truck around. I've seen that truck in my neighborhood. I've seen that truck out and about at the gas station, whatever it might be. So there's an instant, um, um, relation, right? Right. And one truck's enough. One truck's enough. Right. Don't put, thank you for saying that. Don't put like two of your trucks because then it looks like you only have two trucks you leave one truck so and don't have you know when, even when you have a great big fleet don't put that out there just picture of one truck because you're just wanting to stand out in the customer's yeah, mind and a well done you know truck near um a local landmark mm-hmm. or a truck you know your truck that you're you know and try to get a professional have a professional photo mm-hmm. you know taken or whatever mm-hmm. um you know a truck in, a, in your, your truck and you know in a driveway or in front of a nice home right and it looks know, that looks um, similar to to your area, not correct. not a stock. So you can get this kind of stock stuff and then put your truck mm-hmm. there. Or whatever yeah. it, it looks that way. So mm-hmm. you want to look. You know every you know every area has homes that kind of look to like your area. Mm-hmm. 
you know what I'm talking about, and what's kind of common. You don't have to be the, you know, the big mansion in the, <laughs> you know, or, or even, you know, the, the, you know, the lower end home, you know, entry level home or whatever, but something that's standard, okay. Right. Mm -hmm. And then your truck in front of that, yep. okay. Mm -hmm. um, yes. And that that's so the, right. again, it's it um, just. It's recognition. It's giving your customer recognition. The other thing, too, I want to recommend, um, start to look, go just take some time and, and do a Google search of the other plumbing companies in your area. Go look at their websites. See what they do. Um, and then see how you can stand out and be different because, you know, put, put on a critical hat or um, a Mrs. Jones hat, if you will. And how are how is Mrs. Jones seeing these other um, plumbing companies' websites? Because, again, that's what they're looking at. They may find you on Google. Um, like GMB or whatever it might be, but more than likely they're scrolling or they're they're drilling down to your website to get more information or just get a feel for you. Go and see what the others in your area are doing, and then you know decide. I, I need to to stand out um, from these other guys. More than likely they're terrible, but websites. Right. More than likely, it's telling them you're, you're listening everything they do and all that, and you think that is making the customer feel comfortable. No, mm -mm. no one wakes up in the morning and wants to call a plumber. Okay, so when they do wake up and need a plumber, they just the and the concern is, well, they get take care of me today. Can I get them out today? today? That's that's mm -hmm. so you want to hit that psychology, mm -hmm. okay? So sounding like you're busy does not make you better. No, it does that does, that doesn't doesn't work that way. Mm -mm. You much rather sound like I'm waiting just for you to call. If I could, you know, whoever's calling, I'm my whole business is built around you. I'm waiting for you to call. In fact, we're sitting here doing nothing. I'm waiting for <laughs> you to call. You much rather come across like that mm -hmm. than like you're you know the big guy in town. Right. Okay. Exactly. Finding and hiring the right tech for your team can be challenging. Applicant Pro makes it so simple and easy. A personal Applicant Pro hiring professional will do the brunt of the work for you. Writing job ads that will get you maximum applicant exposure. Manage the advertising of your jobs to over 20 major and local job boards. Even a pre-hire risk assessment is included to ensure your candidate matches the role expectations and your company values. Learn more about Applicant Pro and to take advantage of special discounts just for Potty Talk listeners. Go to the million dollar plumber dot com forward slash applicant pro. All right. Mm -hmm. So uh, optimizing your website. Right. All right. Okay. And mm -hmm. service today. Service, service today. today. Service today. All right. All right. Next. Number two. Uh, all right. Be socially active. Mm. Boy, that can almost come out differently. Be socially active. Be socially active. Active. Okay. Oh, I see Instead, what you're saying. Okay, okay. okay. All right. I'm like, where are you going? Yeah, you know, I had another conversation with my kids a while back, you know. Yeah. Don't be active oh. okay all right <laughs> but this is no be socially active yes okay mm -hmm. you know and here's an example i don't you know in you know back back in the day we I mean, still some do like i still <clears throat> right through our plate you know still see them out or whatever is the yard signs mm -hmm. okay the opportunity with with these you know these social networks and that kind of stuff mm -hmm. that is today's yard sign mm -hmm. you know like when you you know you're at the your customer's house and you want to hit i'll give you this or that or you know, I can put our yard sign in there. I know, some know, people still right? do it. You know, because mm -hmm. as people driving by the neighborhood, you know, through, mm -hmm. that's great. All right. That's exactly what you can do like on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Okay. And think of it that way as a, a social, you know, it's a social yard sign. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's not to show your pictures. Again, the thing <laughs> with, you know, look, look at the yards that we tore up. Okay. <laughs> or look at this big, you know, rat, <laughs> root rat that we pulled out of the drain. Isn't this cool? That's all. Or look at these pipes on the the wall when I installed this tankless and I lined up all the plumbing uh, right. or all the the pipes just perfectly so and every we don't care we we yeah. just don't care we don't well, care about that they, they don't care it, right. it doesn't make you look better in fact no. it's like ooh mm -hmm. like it makes us look oh they're the butt crack plumbers mm -hmm. okay yes I mean I literally I mean we I get it I, I'm proud to be plumbing I'm I'm, I'm better than everybody okay <laughs> <laughs> you know and I hope you think the same way okay <laughs> all right. And so, so we get it, right? All right. But that's not what our customers are looking for no. or what tracks. And again, in this, in these social networks, we're not there to sell. You're just there to be in, you know, to, to for them to think of you. Top of mind. Top of mind. Mm -hmm. And in a positive way, not, right. not, ooh, or, ah, what, or what's that? If they don't understand what that is, it doesn't matter. Right. So, it, you know, so when, on these posts, it's, it's just, um, you know, it could be, you know, a picture of you with one that, you know, you had a little helper, a little kid. Can I, you know, can I take a picture of my little helper? You know, ask, mm -hmm. ask the, you know, mom ask, yeah, mm -hmm. or whatever, whatever. Hey, had a great helper today, mm -hmm. you know, on the job or, oh, we had a great, a great customer. You know, you get your hand, you know, customers handshaking or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, what that, that kind of a thing. Correct. Or, or even just, you know, what's, what's going on. 
um, you know, in, you know, in, um, in, in your, community? Uh, com- you know, community. Thank you, sweetheart here. Mm-hmm. I was thinking it cause my mind, that's cause that's such a great, it's so cool mm-hmm. that you want to translate yourself. You want to, you want to be your community's cheerleader. Yes. Mm-hmm. Not that you're the plumbing business. Mm-hmm. Now you're going to have, um, you know, so for example, what, what, what does that look like? Mm-hmm. I mean, you could do a fa- Facebook, you know, recording of, uh, and of course you're on, in a nice polo shirt with your company name and that kind of stuff. Not, mm-hmm. not in a dirty uniform, <laughs> But you know, like like this time of year, as we're recording this, it's you know it's Christmas time, it's the end of the year or whatever, mm-hmm. and you know you got the firemen collecting toys for tots and that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, at the Walmart, well, ask to go interview. We go up to interview the firemen. Mm-hmm. Hey, you know R- Richard here. You know, hey, we got the fire the fire departments here, and they're collecting toys for tots. You know, how's it going? And, and have me a little, you know, just ask a couple of little questions like that and tell them why they're doing it and how to do it. You know, and then you say, hey, come on down, guy. Let's, let's support, mm. support our community. Right. It's that, that simple. Mm. You're the cheerleader for the community. Yes. Does that make sense? Absolutely. And going to um, other small businesses in your area. And even if you're not comfortable doing video, just go take a picture with you and the owner of that business where it's the, lo- the local deli or the local um shoe repair place or dry cleaners or whatever it might be. Something that you do frequent. I mean, don't, you know, just, um, you know, not what am I be authentic thank you that's what I'm looking be authentic about it right go to the places that you typically um that you typically go to and ask to take a picture with the owner and then send the the picture or you know post it out on Facebook and then tag that business because then they're gonna um share it onto theirs as well and so you get this community um of of like-minded business owners who are serving the community and of course you're promoting that you know you know the diner or whatever, the, right. the, lunch, the lunch place that, yes. you know, I mean, they got a, they got a great, uh, you know, brisket biscuits, here. Or biscuits and gravy. My thing is, yeah, <laughs> great biscuits and gravy here. <laughs> and they've been in business for, you know, 17 years mm-hmm. and, it's, you know, it's Joe and Sally Smith and whatever, you know, right. there's I come down here and ch- check it out. If you're looking for good, you know, biscuits and gravy and other stuff, mm-hmm. you know, check them out. Right. And of course you can have a you know, picture of you, you know, it could be again in your nice, a nice shirt with your logo, a hat, that kind of thing, but you're not selling. Right. You're, you're not, not selling you're not doing plumbing. That kind of thing. Mm-mm. Okay. Nope. I mean, you're just promoting your community and, and that's just, again, it's top of mind stuff. It's not like customers are all of a sudden going, Ooh, he looks great. I'm going to, I need a plumber right now and I'm going to call and order, get a new water heater installed. That's not how it works. Right. It's just, it's branding is, is um, staying top of mind. Right. Exactly. <laughs> okay. That's good. All mm-hmm. right. Like do this. it. Okay. You know, do it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hey, I have something here for you for, for joining us. Check it out. Hey, question for you. Where do you want your plumbing business to be this time next year? Stuck on the same dead end road, puttering along in a slow lane as life passes you by? Or are you ready to supercharge your plumbing business and put the pedal down in the fast lane to success? Hey, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber, here to tell you that you'll do just that with my 2024 Roadmap to Plumbing Business Success, where I lay out the exact mile markers you got to hit in order to have, manage, and grow a high-octane plumbing business with lots of great customers, a crew of plumbers eager to ride alongside you, and plenty of money in the tank. Now, you're going to want to buckle up because my roadmap ain't just some guy. It's the GPS to having a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. So, click the link or go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash roadmap to grab your free copy of my 2024 Roadmap to Plumbing Business Success. And let's roll. All right, welcome back. Welcome, welcome back, back here. All right. All right, this is our third part of our four-part series, Turning Pipe Dreams into Reality. Yes, so again, um, guys, please give us a like, um, a follow, a thumbs up, a things. Um, YouTube, if you're watching Share on YouTube, some love. on YouTube, um, yep. hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button. Um, yeah, if you do love these podcasts and they're helpful for you, give us a, a review out on whatever podcast um, you're listening to or leave a comment. We do see all the comments and, and reply back. So I'd love to hear from you. Right. Mm-hmm. No, I'm not going to change my beard. Okay, so don't, <laughs> no, he's not. I, guess I'm I'm right. I don't even care. Right. <laughs> and I'm not going to stop talking. <laughs> right, 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 exactly. <laughs> That's another one. And my hands are clean for That's a plumber right. because I wash because them. Because he washes them. Golly. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right. All right. So, that's that we <laughs> sorry. We do look at all the comments. Right. So there you go. Right. Um, so we are turning pipe dreams into reality. And yes. today we're talking about the digital age and how to have an mm-hmm. online presence. We've talked about optimizing your website correctly and well. And then also being socially active, becoming the community cheerleader um, and, and being and sharing that online. So there right. you go. 
And finally, okay, and last but not least, okay, in, in this digital age, okay, need to mine your email list. You're taking okay, so. you're taking for granted that they have an email list, so we're well, gonna start there, okay, right? Sorry, right, right. <laughs> you should be building an email list. So, okay. okay, before you go there, so yeah, that's the case. Don't you have to have an email list? You have to get an email from every customer. You have to, um, and except the ones that say no, I don't want to give you that because I don't want you to spam me. Then of course you don't do that. But for every customer, you must get their email address because that that is how you're going to follow up with them. And it's common now. I mean, you know, maybe seven. 10 years ago or whatever, that people had um, more aversion to giving out personal information. But everybody knows to get anything like a receipt from the work that's done, yeah. we're going to send it to your email address. So make sure you get an email address for every customer because you're okay. going to build that email list and because, that email list becomes valuable. Right. That That is a valuable asset. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and, you know, cause you, you spent advertising dollars to get you know, these customers now, did. you know, instead of in, to get them into your universe here and your email, you know, you have an email address, you have a way to communicate to them. Okay. And one way you can do that just, and again, this is not just to spam them and keep hitting on them. Yeah. Um, but, but just you to stay, stay in, you know, in the forefront of their minds or Not just mind. right. So that they just do remember you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or are aware of you. And so an easy thing to do is, is like a, a monthly newsletter. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's so easy to have something like that. And again, you know, you're not just, um, you know, with this news, you're not selling. Okay. You're not there to, and not, you know, just again, you want to be kind of a, a community cheerleader. So some kind of local, what's going on in the local, just a little, you know, not to be long. Okay. No, something that's not. going on. Mm -hmm. Um, you could have a community calendar. This is where, you know, um, you know, the festival's happening or this is going on right. or, you know, th that, that kind of a thing. Okay. A plumbing tip. Right. Mm -hmm. ha having a plumbing tip, just mm -hmm. something, uh, or, you know, I like to use it what we did is a home tip. So it's not even just plumbing. You're, you, you, what you're, you're kind of lining yourself up as their, their home expert. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so you may not do, you know, um, yard work and that kind of stuff, but you could have, you know, some kind of green thumb idea, mm -hmm. you know, those or checking kinds of your things. smoke alarm. Um, what is, what's the date they always say on your birthday or something, always right. change your, your smoke alarm or, you know, first of the year, change your smoke alarm. So those little reminders, yeah, yeah you're right. It doesn't have to be totally plumbing related. Um, and then something like um, MailChimp. MailChimp um, is easy and free depending on how many um, contacts you have. But gosh, I think it's up to 2,500 emails. I believe that's it. Um, you can get a free MailChimp account and they have a template for newsletters and things like that. And now there's chat GPT. I mean, you could go in and just put in a little bit of informa information and I you mean, could you go, write a newsletter. Give me, give me um, a paragraph tip on, on Sir, um, planting your garden, you know, yeah. having, having a yard garden, right? whatever. And it just would, it would just, I, it would write it for you. Right. Um, and so again, you know, the plumbing stuff's easy. Even, even the plumbing stuff, even if you have trouble coming up with the words, you mm -hmm. know, how, how to check a freezeless faucet, you know, or prepare your, your, your host spigots for the winter, mm -hmm. you know, and yeah. you know, you know how to do that. Right. What you want to say, disconnect hoses and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. it, you don't have to do the thinking. It just spit it right out for you. Right. You know? And then you put that information into a newsletter. And again, most aren't going to read word for word, um, but it's, it's staying top of mind. They're going to see something hit their inbox that's from Attaboy Plumbing or you know, whatever your plumbing company's name. They're going to see that in there so that when they have a plumbing problem and they will have a plumbing problem, you're, you're top of mind. You're the one that they're going to think of first. Or the neighbor asks who they, you, you know, it's just, Correct. right. It's just, it's Attaboy Plumbing. It's Attaboy Plumbing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Um, because you're that, you know, you know, you're giving that friendly information. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you're not being pushy. The whole no. thing is you're not pushing, you know, mm -hmm. and so you're not opening the newsletter. I got, we got our special on water conditioning. You got to, you know, you, right. you know, you waste this much money a year doing this and that. Mm -hmm. ah, you're selling me. You're right. selling me. Mm -hmm. Check. I don't want no more. Right. Okay. Something right. fun, a little cartoon, a little feel good story. There's enough right. non feel good stories and bad things happening in the world. Um, and that's, you know, the news just feeds us all bad crap all the time, but right. something that's a happy story or, or a little joke, a little chuckle thing, something appropriate. Don't, don't go plumber. Right. right. <laughs> Don't keep it, right. keep it nice and family friendly. Um, it's things like that. And again, it's just make somebody smile, you know, and, right. and again, stay on top of mind. So it's an easy thing to do once you set up. Okay. In fact, you could spend, it, it's just like how we plan for potty talks here. We just give, you know, we, we do it, you know, we plan a month at a time. Mm -hmm. And, and so, you know, I, I take it really, it takes me about an hour, you know, of my time here to plan out my potty talks and, you know, a couple other things that we do. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and so then it's just, it's just in the can. Okay. Um, so having, so having a plan, so know that, you know, the third Wednesday of every month, you know, at the first in the morning or whatever it is, right. you're going to plan out, um, the, the newsletters that you're going to send out. 
right? So, and then do four, four months worth or how, if you're doing every week or whatever it might be, plan them all out so that when it's time to do them, you already have that information instead of, oh, crap, it's been a month since I've sent a newsletter out. What am I going to send a newsletter out about? I have no idea what idea is. Right. And, and you've got things happening and fires going on and all the things. It's not going to get done. Right. So okay. planning. And then with things like MailChimp, you just, you can put it in, automate it, click the button and it just, when a day, it just sends it out. Yes. Super easy. Okay. If you don't know how right. to use MailChimp, just go on YouTube and watch a video on, on how to use it. It's, 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 it's so easy. And maybe that's why they call it chimp. So easy right. that a a chimp can, chimp, chimp can do it. <laughs> right, right. So, you know, mm -hmm. all right. Then also using the email list for, you could do a special every so often then. Okay. Um, you know, we have, for, and, and give it credibility. I mean, a lot of times it helps with it's back to school. Um, you know, school get ready for, you know, you know, you get family coming in for the holidays. We got to blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. You know, try to tie it around those kinds of things. So it doesn't feel like you're just hitting them up for money. Okay. You're, right. You're trying to help them. Mm -hmm. All right. Th through a, through a situation. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but you, that's how you can use your email list. And mm -hmm. again, you know, as we're getting to this, we're talking about as you build it through time. I and mean, we had 30, 40,000 emails yeah, you send out all of a sudden you can be really big. I mean, mm -hmm. if only just 1%, you know, mm -hmm. take hits it. You know, at that point, even a quarter, you know, a percentage of a percent, mm -hmm. you know, you, you got, you're making money. Right. You, okay. You've already, mm -hmm. you're busy. Right. You know, one of my favorites we did was, you know, slow oh, days. I know you've said, you've said this a few I, times. I, I love it. Slow days because it worked. <laughs> it worked. I took a, I took a uh, picture of my guys in the, in the, in the uh, tech room mm -hmm. and had them be in like different sleeping positions, you know, you know, in different line back where they're kind of maybe slobbering, not the real slobber, looking like that, <laughs> their head down on the table, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. I took a picture of the guys like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. But then I sent out to the email, I created a, you know, a email, an email mm -hmm. where it's, Hey, please put my guys to work. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're, we're, we're slow, slow today. today, which is okay to say, mm -hmm. cause it gives that. Okay. Why are you hitting me up? Why you, why are you giving me, right. why are you, why are you giving me 20% off mm -hmm. or 15, whatever it is off I'm slow today. Okay. Cause it's slow. It makes sense. Take advantage of, of my, uh, of our slow day. I mean, right. Right. And so, and it's kind mm -hmm. of, it's a little silly, that kind mm -hmm. of a thing. So that always got, all of a sudden we were killer busy. Mm -hmm. Yep. It was okay. cute and it was funny. Right. Mm -hmm. But but also you have to continually, you can't just all of a sudden blast them with an email like that because they may, like, who is this? You've got yeah. to build that up, right. building up that you're sending them information or you've got a newsletter or whatever it might be um, that's going out consistently. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So mine that email, build yeah. that email list build and, it first. and mine it. Okay. Yes. Build it and they will come. When you said, okay. <laughs> all to right. Quote. It's a beautiful okay. thing. It okay. took, Yeah took me a little uh, time to believe in that or mm -hmm. start that. It's, it was one of those things I didn't think about, mm -hmm. you know, and well, then we started, when we started our plumbing business. I mean, it wasn't email. It wasn't right? email, really. That kind of so. thing, so it wasn't in that mm -hmm. frame of mind, mm -hmm. but it became very, very clear. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we, we see it with our clients and, you know, all the time as well. Yep. You know, that when you have that, you know, and you start building that, it's, mm -hmm. it's a powerful thing. Mm -hmm. So do it. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Good one. Okay. What you got now? Hey, well, hey, if you want, you know, as we're talking on these things and, and you're ready um, you know, you just want input into your plumbing business or make sure you're pointing in the right direction, or you've heard us mentioning, you know, success Academy and what kind of training, you know, that kind of stuff. You just look, we're not here. Let's have a conversation. And I, I guarantee we're not here to sell you. Our heart is not to sell. In fact, I, I, I'm going to tell you this. We got, you know, for, for our kind of business, we, we do, do, do do this kind of stuff. And, and everyone like us has sales teams. And I got to admit, we get pushed, you know, mm -hmm. consulted to have the sales teams, big sales teams, sales teams mm -hmm. and all that. I don't want, I didn't do the sales team mm -hmm. like, because I don't, I don't, I want to, I don't want to sell you, you know, so if, 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 you're, if you're right for the cat, you want the Academy after we talk or whatever, then it's great. It works. And, and then you'll actually do well because you weren't sold anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which is what I want. I want you to do well, but even, I don't even want you to go to the Academy or just, if, if just have a conversation. I just want you to do well. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if, if you want input or just want to have a conversation, you know, go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash call and you can schedule a time, a session, all right, to speak with a success coach. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And we'll, we'll help you out. All right. Okay. Did that, did I go off on that too much? Yeah, no. a little bit, but that's all right. Okay. I didn't do that. <laughs> hey, you just want to help. Okay. That's all. Uh, that's what today. it's about. All right. Okay. So there we go. All right. Hey, before I let you go, as always, okay, I want to remind you that you were purposely and wonderfully created and you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Bye, everybody.